Hello, everybody. Today is December 30th, 2016, and we're at the World Headquarters at Pure Aqua, Inc. Production just completed the fabrication of a reverse osmosis system complete with pre- and post-treatment. This particular unit was 100% skid-mounted, which is the closest unit we make to complete plug-and-play. Starting from the feed side, we have our feed water inlet connection, our feed, feed and backwash pump, our multimedia filter, our 21-inch carbon filter, chemical injection systems, the reverse osmosis unit, calcite filter, and our, our UV disinfection. Now, each particular unit here has a particular role in treating the water. Now, this system was designed based on the feed water analysis we received from the customer. Certain components were chosen based on the feed water to particularly suit the application. The feed and backwash pump will take water from a feed water tank, boost the pressure to around 45 to 50 PSI. This is stainless steel 316 in construction. The water will get disinfected with a pre-chlorination dosing system to kill any bacteria and oxidize any metals. And the water from there will be passed on to a multimedia filter. The multimedia filter will trap any suspended solids, reduce the turbidity, and trap any of the oxidized metals. From there, the water gets passed on to a carbon filter. The carbon filter will remove any other residual chlorine and any organics found in the water. From there, before the RO, we dose, the, we dose the, some anti-scalant into the water. The anti-scalant helps prevent any calcium buildup on the membrane surface. Now, coming back around here on, onto the RO side, we have our feed inlet valve, which, com which completely isolates the RO unit from the pretreatment side. After the feed inlet valve, we have our 5 micron filter, which remove any fine particles left after the pretreatment process to protect the membranes. We have a low pressure switch that protects the high pressure pump in case, for whatever reason, the feed pump fails or the feed water tank runs out of water. This will help prevent any cavitation on the high pressure pump. From there, the water gets passed onto the high pressure pump, which boosts the pressure to around 200 to 220 PSI in this application. And the water gets fed into the membrane and pressure vessels. Now, in this particular application, we're, we're doing about 50% permeate, 50% reject, which is 50% which is recovery. Now, we're doing about 50,000 liters per day, and the feed water is about 6,000 ppm. Going around this way here, we have all the inst instrumentation and controls conveniently located on, on one part of the system. We can measure our pre and post filter pressures, read our pump pressure, control our, our production flow rate through two valves, and have our permeate and reject flow meters. The control panel is also as well con conveniently located here, which will, will tell you the, can tell you feed water, will tell you the feed water TDS, the product water TDS, and as, end with a temperature and control, all pumps, low pressure switches. From there, the per permeate water will get disinfected. We'll go through a calcite filter for remineralization, which will help balance the pH. And the final step of treatment will be the post-chlorination, so the water can be stored in a storage tank. So tell us more about the application for the system. So this particular unit is going to be used for drinking water, and it's going to the country of Algeria, as mentioned before. And the customer is essentially taking well water and making it drinking, clean drinking potable water. Is this a standardized system, or is it custom for this particular application? I would say this is about 70% custom, really. We use a lot of, of course, standard components, but the design is, one, is, is, is very custom. We, of course, we fine-tuned all pretreatment to the specific application, and we had a certain space requirement we had to meet for the customer, and we were able to conveniently locate, for example, all chemical dosing in the front of the system so chemicals can be easily refilled. And all pressure vessels are conveniently located, so memories can be easily changed. And the 5 marker filter in the back of the system is also very conveniently located, so it can be easily changed every month. Is it typical that systems are mounted all in one unit like this? No, this is, a, this is actually one of our higher-end systems here, because 
we do a lot of the installation work, you know, in, in the factory here. So now this is this is definitely not very common, but it's very convenient. So what does that mean for the customer when it's all together on one system? So when the customer receives this on site, this is uh, very very convenient because they can essentially do all installation work and get the system ready in less than one day because we've really ironed out all the tough stuff here at the factory. So it's only really like one, a few points for water connection, one point for electricity. They don't have to do it for each particular item. Yeah, correct. Yeah, they, so they'll have like a feed water inlet connection, of course a drain connection, and their clean water connection. And they'll have one power in connection, yes. So it's very convenient. They have four points of connection in total. Is there any other work they have to do in terms of loading media, loading membranes? No, actually for this one, the customer requested we load all media before shipping, and we did just that. We loaded the sand and anthracite in the multimedia filter. We've loaded the carbon inside the carbon filter, and the, the calcite filter was already loaded as well with the calcite media. So this is very convenient. All valves already installed, electrical connections complete, all plumbing between the valves complete. So again, this is very convenient for the customer. So it's basically plug and play at this point. Yeah, this is probably, I would say, the closest thing you can get to plug and play. Uh, walk us through a little bit more of uh, what a, how a customer will operate the system after they have installed it. Okay, so let's say that, you know, they're, they're gonna, this is very straightforward. I mean, you have a, you know, your power on and power off button here, which will, you know, of course, turn the system on or off. From there, there's two valves that will control the flow rates. You have, your, you have your pump throttle valve here, which will control the total amount of water fed into the system. And you have your reject control valve, which controls how much water gets you know, passed onto the reject. And those two will determine how much water you make as permeate. So you have your on and off button. You have your two valves to adjust. And from there, we've already done all the settings on the valves for backwashes and backwash length and how often these filters backwash. So it's very simple in terms of operation. Do these systems need to be monitored closely during operation? No, this, this system is completely and fully automated. A after the client connects their level switches, you know, they can kind of just walk away from the system and have it run on its own, assuming there's, you know, a reliable feed source of water. This can turn on and off based on how much water they're using and how much water they're feeding. So it could turn on once and it'll run all day or even all week, is it? Yeah, I mean, really, yeah, that, for example, the chemical dosing tanks are sized where they don't have to be re re refilled every day. They can be refilled, you know, roughly every week, which is very convenient. And cartridges need to be changed once a month, membranes every two to three years. So, yeah, I mean, th this is very convenient for the customer in terms of operation. There's even an, operation, uh, an option where they can do a remote monitoring where they can see the status of the system, to see if there's any, you know, faults on the system if they're away from the site. So once the system's running, would you say this is like low maintenance? Or would you say... It, yeah, uh, I mean, for, for, for the amount of water it's producing per day, I would say this is very low maintenance, yes. Very easy to maintain. Your average operator can, within less than one day, can really learn how to operate the unit. So after the system's complete, what else do you do? How much, what's involved with testing these systems, making sure that all the systems are ready for the customer to install? So for, for example, this particular unit was tested actually for about one hour. We caught a couple leaks that, you know, assembly missed. We, of course, changed the fittings. We corrected the leaks, tested it again, made sure the, the leaks were taken care of. We tested the membranes, make sure the water, the water quality is correct and the re membranes are rejecting. And of course, we pressure tested the system to make sure as well there's no leaks. We tested all the electronics, all the controls, make sure that everything's there as it's supposed to be. So when the customer receives the system, it's expected that it should be a very high quality system you know, they've already done minimal amount of installation work and, and we've already run it. Yeah, correct. Yeah. So this has been 100% really run here at the factory. So the customer should expect that this will work immediately once installed on site. No, you know, 
extra work needs to be done other than, of course, connecting their water connections and, as I mentioned, their electrical connections, which is really standard amongst any system. So how, how long does it take for a system like this to be constructed from start to finish? So in terms of fabrication, uh, this is, since this is a skid-mounted one, it takes uh, a little bit more time. This one took about a week from start to finish. It took about, you know, about half a day or so to put on all main items. From there, we install all fittings, which takes another two to three days, and the electrical team comes in, finishes all the electrical, and another, you know, couple hours for, for testing. So one week in total, we can really get this unit completely built. Now that's, of course, the engineering side takes a little bit more time, but in terms of assembly, we're very efficient. We can get this done in about, about a week or so. So it, it, it's, you said engineering takes a little bit more time. Is that just because this is a customized system? Well, for, for two reasons, yeah. This is a custom system, and we really pay close attention to detail here. We want to make sure that, you know, all pipe sizes are correct. The, our, our floor rates and our membrane flux is what it's supposed to be at. Chemical dosing systems die, sized appropriately. All, all pumps correctly sized. So, yeah, we, we really pay attention to detail here to make sure the system lives for many years without, you know, spare parts need, needing to be purchased and a lot of downtime for the customer. Would you say that's the extent of uh, what we do in terms of quality control? Yeah, I mean, really, any system, any system size we have here, I would say the attention to detail is the same. Regardless if it's a, it's a huge plant or a smaller system like this, our attention to detail is the same, regardless of you know, the cost of the system or the size of the system. We really make sure every system has the same level of quality throughout our product line. How so, much is it? How, how, is it, how competitively priced is this? So, with, with, you know, with, in terms of in the, in the industry, I would say this is very competitively priced com, com, considering that we've done all the installation work. Again, doing installation work on site is, is very cost. It takes a lot of money and it takes a lot of time. And we have trained technicians here and engineers are heavily involved with assembly to make sure that, you know, everything's installed correctly, again, tested, and works once delivered on site. So I think this would really wrap up our, you know, video here about this 50,000 liter per day system going to Algeria. And if there's any questions, just leave them in the, in the comments section on the video link and we'll be happy to answer them. Thank you.